New at 5.30 tonight, Ripta has a new energy source. A two-acre solar panel has been installed on the roof of its main building, and today officials held a special ribbon-cutting ceremony. The Green Team's Pete Mangione was there. He joins us now with the details, new at 5.30. Earlier this week, we were covering a huge solar installation at Quonset Business Park. On Friday, another one was kicked off at the Ripta building. Congratulations. With the cutting of a big ribbon... <laughs> An even bigger display of solar panels soaked up the sun on the roof of the Ripta building. Ultimately, it's about getting cars off our roads, reducing the carbon footprint there. Congressman Jim Langevin and the rest of Rhode Island's congressional delegation, along with Ripta officials, were in attendance Friday at a ceremony to celebrate the installation of a huge group of solar panels covering about two acres. The panels will generate electricity at a value of $56,000 a year. But the project does have an initial price tag of about three million dollars. But the good thing is that none of the money came from state um, tax dollars. The money comes from a combination of RIPTA and federal grants, part of which includes two hundred and forty thousand dollars from a two thousand seven settlement between Rhode Island and the American Electric Power Corporation. Warwick Mayor Scott Avedesian is the chairman of the RIPTA board. He's a big supporter of this project, but says anyone watching at home should do some research before putting in their own panels. I'd hate to see someone go out and decide to do a project and realize that they're not really saving energy or saving money. And if you're considering putting in your own solar panels, you're going to want to first check with an energy consulting group like RISE. For the Green Team, I'm Pete Mangione.